What's up YouTube, this is Alex Duffin, and today's video we are covering the developer message of Wizarding Wave, and they are gonna address some issue with the close beta 2 reviews. Now, before we start, please do subscribe to my YouTube channel and activate the notification bell if you are enjoying this content. And also, please do follow me on twitch.tv slash alexdafun and let's begin. So, the dev sent a message about the closed beta test 2. Basically, here they said that they're gonna answer our question that we have. And now let's talk about the campaign. So overall, they said that they're gonna fix the combat to make it a better experience, fix some character combat mechanic, and better camera, better speed, better counter, and overall a better way to practice. They said that they're gonna make a combat practicing dungeon. So we can learn the character unique combat mechanism. And so they are fixing some camera issues as well in the combat. Which overall that means they're gonna make it a better combat system. So we can under uh, so we can enjoy the combat. Which is a good thing. I am happy for that. Now the ca uh, gameplay. The, the good news for everyone out there worrying about the echo. They said they're gonna fix the ecosystem. They're going to make it a bit more better. And they're going to make it uh, easier to uh, to get them like by uh, doing daily activity, game event, and better stat and better sub stat. What I mean by better sub stat is they are uh, they're going to make it easier to get the your f desired substat, which is a good news, and they're gonna make a lot of uh, improvement, and they're gonna create new event and new gameplay around the ecosystem and the echoes. So that I dub, very good. So this uh, it was the number one priority that the community wanted, is the ecosystem. They said also that they may, they will reduce the grindy point of the echo and make it easier to obtain. So that very good. And they did say that they're gonna add new content in the depth of elusive realm. They said that they're gonna add new stage, new challenge, and uh, more playable character and trial character that you can use, which is great. And they said that they're gonna improve the quality of life. Like when uh, you open a set, you will automatically equip, you will automatically pick up item. The co-op gonna be, uh, the co-op level requirement gonna be lower. So that means instead of being at level 30, they will lower it to maybe 20. I don't know exactly. And also you can, salvage option for unwanted item in your backpack which is good shit for the quality of life now the story and cutscene they said they're gonna fix that the lip the uh the lip the camera the bug and they're gonna improve the skip button which is a good sign and they're gonna try to polish every detail Now the optimization, they said they're gonna improve the optimization, the UI to make it easier for navigation. And yeah, they're gonna try to make everything better with the optimization. The localization, they said that they take everything serious and they are working on adding Japanese, English, Korean voice in the story. And they think of our pa patient. It, and they said at the end that they're apologizing for the unsatisfied content of the beta 2 and they're gonna try to make it a better game. And they thank us for our support. That's all they have to say. So the W is the echo mainly because that what people were worried about. They did say that they're gonna improve the experience and make it less grindy. 
and so they're gonna make everything better for that ecosystem so that uh good news and i think people would like that that most of people were complaining about and so i think that is a dub now that's all i have to say about the developer message of the wizarding wave if you did enjoy this type of content please do subscribe to my youtube channel put a notification bell on and don't forget to put a like and also follow me on twitch.tv slash alexdefern we will see you next time bye bye youtube